Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be doing an Abercrombie and Fitch try on haul. I know it hasn't been that long since my last one, but they recently had a huge sale and I couldn't resist picking some more pieces up for the fall. And I love this haul even more than the last one. And you guys will see. I picked up a little bit of everything, sweaters, jeans, jackets, and I can't wait to show them to you guys. But before I do, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. If you are new here, welcome. I would love to have you on my channel. Now with that out of the way, we can start. I think we're going to start off with the jackets just because jackets are literally my favorite favorite thing in the whole wide world, especially in the fall. So when I saw this bad boy on the Abercrombie & Fitch website, I was like, oh my god, I need to have it. This is their drapey trench coat and I believe this is a terracotta red if I'm not mistaken. And I actually wanted this in a cream color but it sold out so freaking fast that this color was the next best thing and I'm actually not mad at it. I think this is such a pretty color for a fall trench coat. Now, although I love it, I did snack this bad boy on sale. The original price is $140, $150 if you're from Canada. So it is a little bit pricey for the trench coat that you get, in my opinion. I think I paid maybe $60 or $70, and I think it's worth that. I would not pay for this full price. Unless you really love the color and you love the style, then go for it. This would definitely cause some stares if you step out in the street with this, just because it's such a different color and I think it's so vibrant. I got this in an extra small and it actually fits really well. I'm always a little afraid buying coats online especially trench coats because i like my trench coats to feel nice and tight and this one just fits perfectly super cute trench coat that i love the next jacket that i picked up was this really pretty vegan suede jacket this bad boy i would definitely pay full price for the original price is 120 dollars and i think that is super so worth it the quality on this jacket it's amazing especially for it being vegan suede i was not expecting this from Abercrombie and fitch at all and i think this is a perfect fall jacket it's actually nice and thick so i definitely think it will keep you warm for early fall and i got this in size extra small which it fits perfectly if you want to wear this with like chunky oversized sweaters or I don't know anything oversized then definitely size up because it does fit quite snug. And the next jacket is definitely a staple for fall and I've been needing a good vegan leather jacket for a while now. The last vegan jacket that I owned I bought when I was maybe like 19 years old or 20 years old. I'm about to turn 26 and it was literally falling apart this is an extra small this is their vegan leather jacket and i think it's so cute it's such a perfect street style type of jacket i love that the back has like little buckles there's like four buckles on the side which i guess you can loosen up the jacket i just thought about that you can expand the jacket a little bit and i think this is such a good essential to have in your closet i love that the sleeves have zippers i think it's just so nice and the quality you guys is amazing i will be honest i opened the ember and fitch order yesterday and there was like a slight smell with this jacket and the vegan suede jacket but that's completely gone 24 hours later just let it air out for like 24 hours and it's completely normal you can't go wrong with a vegan leather jacket if you don't have a leather jacket in your closet this is your sign that you need to get one all right so moving on to sweaters i picked up this really pretty light blue sweater i love this color i don't know if you guys can really tell because of the camera but this blue is absolutely gorgeous i love the fit of this sweater i of course in typical carmen fashion i like wearing it off the shoulder for a nice cute look but you don't have to you can wear just like a typical sweater or you can even have it just going off one shoulder i got this in a size extra small and it fits perfectly i'm actually surprised i'm able to wear it in different ways normally an extra small can fit a little snug the quality is really nice as well i wouldn't say that it's super thick but it definitely can keep you warm for early fall and early winter so cute 
cute. The next top that I picked up is this really pretty blue cardigan. And I really like how different this cardigan is. Just because the sleeves are kind of like oversized. It's like a balloon sleeve. And then it gets really tight in the wrist area. I think that is so different and such a cute look. For a cardigan, you can tuck this into some high-waisted jeans, a high-waisted skirt for a nice look. And it's such a good quality cardigan and it's nice and thick. So this one will definitely keep you warm. I got it in a size extra small and it fits absolutely perfect. Perfect. Abercrombie and Fitch really has like the perfect fall colors on their website. Other websites that I shop typically only have like black or white or like a burnt orange, which is fine. But sometimes I do like to add different shades of different colors. And this one is really pretty. I love this. All right, so the next top is definitely a dressier one. You guys know how much I love a good satin top. And this one just screamed at me on the website. I think this is so pretty. I love the champagne color of this top. It's gorgeous. There's like really pretty button detailing going down. So girly. And then the best part of this top is the freaking back you guys know if you've been watching me for a while how much i love a good open back top and this one i just think it's so girly so feminine and i'm obsessed with this this is definitely going to be the top i wear for my next date night out and i think it's just so flattering the sleeves are so cute kind of like a puff sleeve blouse and i got this in a size what size did i get this i got this in a size extra small and it fits perfect and the next item was just kind of like an impulse buy because it was on sale but i'm so glad i picked it up and i now want it in every possible color and it's this really pretty plaid poncho i never thought in a million years that i would wear a poncho but here we are in 2020 anything can happen and i just love the look of this poncho and it feels like i'm just wearing a blanket which is even better i just think it will make your outfit look so chic with whatever you're wearing as a bottom you compare it with a skirt it just goes with absolutely everything and i love the color it's such a good neutral color that makes it so wearable and will look good on anyone i'm obsessed with this i literally want to live in this awful and then the next top that i got is just a really nice basic to have this is a really pretty seamless tan bodysuit I love this. I think this is so flattering. It's really nice and thick, so you don't even have to wear a bra with it. It is a bodysuit, but it does have a button collapse at the bottom, which is perfect. And I've really been loving Abercrombie's and American Eagle's bodysuits and basics. I think they have really nice basics at an affordable price that will last a lifetime. And this one is no exception. I love the color. How pretty is that? Perfect for the fall to go with absolutely everything. And then I ended up picking up another bodysuit. And this one is just a basic white bodysuit. It looks like it's a wrap bodysuit, but it's actually not. And I think this is so flattering. I love the knot detailing on the shoulder straps. Like how nice is that? That is so cute. It is a little see-through, so if you're not comfortable with your nipple showing through then just wear boob tape and not boob tape nipple coverings and you'll be perfectly fine so love this i got this on sale for 11 dollars, you guys like how crazy all right now moving on to bottoms the first bottom that i picked up is just this really pretty burgundy vegan suede skirt as soon as i saw this i was like this will look amazing paired with over the knee boots and a nice cute little bodysuit a nice jacket and you are ready for a fall a night out it's really nice and thick the quality is freaking amazing it is on the shorter side so definitely keep that in mind if that's not your thing and i got this in an extra small i could have probably sized up to a size small for a more like loose and a little bit longer fit but i really do like how the extra small fits on me i bought skirts from other brands where the quality is not even there but this one is really nice and thick so freaking soft so i highly recommend this burgundy skirt if you're in the market for a vegan suede situation 
And continuing with my vegan leather obsession, I had to pick up vegan leather leggings. I've been wanting a pair of leather leggings for such a long time. I think they go well with absolutely everything. You can dress them up, dress them down. And I love these because they actually have a zip ankle and I just thought that added like a nice extra look. And these are really good quality. I did get in a size extra small and i feel like i could have gotten a size small because these are really tight but you know leather leggings are supposed to be tight so i might just keep them in the extra small and keep in mind that you can see absolutely everything you're wearing with these be careful with the type of underwear that you wear with these but other than that i highly recommend them if you want to see a whole video of how i style leather leggings definitely let me know and i can create a whole video for you guys because the outfit possibilities with these are endless i did pick up some jeans from Abercrombie just because i fell in love with their jeans last time and the first jean that i picked up was the skinny in this really nice light gray wash i think this is such a cute denim wash that i actually don't even have anything like this in my closet i actually got it in a size 25 if you saw my last Abercrombie haul you would have seen that i got all my jeans in a size 26 and the waist in those jeans was just a little bit loose so i decided to pick up a size 25 to see how it would fit and a size 25 definitely feels tight on me i haven't i haven't really made the decision if i like how tight they fit i know i'm so indecisive and i can't make up my mind but you know when you put on a pair of jeans and you're like all right these fit perfect and then you put up another one and you're like okay could be better that's how i feel with this one i think these are really nice quality and they go with absolutely everything i have yet to buy black booties for the fall season which i don't know why i haven't I, it's just it's just really hard to find a good pair of black booties like it's really hard <laughs> so i pair these with pumps if i remember correctly in the try on haul portion but you can definitely pair it with over the knee boots or black booties brown booties whatever your little heart desires for a really nice look the next pair of jeans that i picked up were the straight 90s jeans and honestly my closet is being overrun by straight leg jeans but i'm not mad at it because they're really cute got these in a size 26 and i definitely love the fit of these i love the rip detailing that's actually on only one leg so the other leg has no rib detailing at all i just think that's really nice and i like that you can roll up the jeans i love wearing darker denim washes in the fall i just think it's more appropriate than in the summer but obviously you can wear whatever color denim wash you want throughout the whole year but that's just my personal preference and i feel like straight like jeans are even more popular than mom jeans dare i say it so these are perfect i love these so much ever since i signed up for abercrombie's newsletter i've noticed that they have been doing tons of sales these past few weeks i don't know if they've always been like that or if that is just new because of the labor day holiday and then all the holidays that are coming up now but definitely sign up because i know that some of their items can be pricey but their sales are amazing and you can definitely get really good discounts i saved so much money on this order because of the discount that they were having so definitely keep an eye out for that comment down in the comments below if you have shopped at Abercrombie recently are you going to shop at Abercrombie after this video let me know in the comments below hope you guys enjoyed watching this video i feel like i definitely got some really good fall staples and if you did don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe because you made it through this whole entire video and you might as well subscribe thank you so much you guys for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye